Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price for the SmallQuest.com stock report. Brent, stock up for you this week. Well, I think there's a lot of places you can go, but I'm going to go with a, a group of cagey receivers. You know, Austin, all the talk in the preseason was uh, about these young receivers and the speed, and they can take the top off and all these other things. But they get in a ball game on Saturday night, and it's Brandon Johnson who's making critical plays, Josh Palmer making critical plays. You know, give Brandon Johnson a lot of credit. He bet on himself, and it paid off for him in week one. We'll see how he can do in week two. But Brandon Johnson and that group of veteran receivers is my stock up this week. Well, you couldn't go stock up DeAndre Johnson because his stock could not have been any higher than it was for you last week. Thus, I will go stock up DeAndre Johnson because I had him on low stock last week, and he two and a half sacks, most sacks in the season opener since 2007, most sacks overall since Daryl Taylor had four against Kentucky in 2018. You know, he forced an interception with, with pressure. He, he, he swiped the ball away and forced a fumble that Tennessee did not recover. He was just, you know, borderline dominant. So I'll go stock up him. I'll also say stock up a guy like Tyler Barron, who really showed well in his first game. And then finally, a quick stock up to Paxton Brooks, who after that disaster, uh, which wasn't on him, but he still was part of it uh, on, on the first punt. The guy was five of six inside the 20, had a long of 51, average 40 a kick. If he can be that way all year for Tennessee, Tennessee's punting situation will be much better than it was a year ago. Stock down for you. Well, before I get to stock down, let me say this on Brooks. I think the most impressive thing about Paxton was he did it in a variety of ways. He kicked a bunch of different types of punts. It wasn't, you know, the slow hanging high delivery, but, you know, he had the rugby style. I mean, he was effective in whatever way he kicked it, plus his kickoffs were really good as well. Uh, stock down for me has got to be the middle of the football field, Austin. I, I think if you look at South Carolina, that, that there was not a lot they could do on the perimeter, on the outside. It was all in the middle of the field. Tennessee had some clear confusion. I think part of that was because of personnel um, in terms of guys playing in different spots. Bryce Thompson's at safety. Then you've got some new guys like Danico Slaughter, who, who doesn't have experience at the star. Inside linebacker, not a lot of experience with Jeremy Banks and, and Quaverius Crouch. But Tennessee's got to shore up between the hash marks because everybody's going to pick on them until they get that cleaned up. They got to defend the tight end better, and they got to defend crossing routes and slants a lot better. So, stock down for me is just the fact that the middle of the field was wide open for that defense. Stock down for me will be third down offense. It was just abysmal last week. Tennessee got away with it. They got a win in Columbia. They're going to have to be much better than they were, uh, you know, last week coming up Saturday at noon against Missouri. Tennessee drop passes on third down. They gave up sacks on third down. It, they've got to play much more functional on third down offensively if they're going to have more success over the course of this season. And then stock stagnant for me, I'm going to go Jerry Garantano. Was JG good? He wouldn't stock up, but he wasn't stock down. But I do think he was much closer to stock up than he was stock down. He didn't have any bad reads. He didn't have any head scratching throws. If he can clean up the little stuff, well, JG may be stock up heading into Athens next week. Stock stagnant for you. Stock stagnant for me. I'm going to go with those freshman newcomers on the offensive side of the ball. We saw Slaughter with the sack on defense. We saw Tyler Barron, who you gave a stock up to, make some good plays with his hands and, and really get off blocks well. But we just didn't see a whole lot out of those freshman offensive players. Jalen Hyde had one target. Wasn't his fault. He was open. Ball was behind him. Spragans played a little bit, but, but not a whole lot there. You saw Cooper Mays in a jumbo package. He had a good block, and he had a jump off sides. Just didn't see a whole lot out of those guys. They didn't get a ton of opportunities. So I'm going to stock stagnant there. I almost went stock stagnant with the run game, but Jim Cheney decided to run it to open the second half. So I'll, I'll let Cheney's run game calls get off the stock stagnant list and just kind of ignore it this week. But Tennessee better not be stock stagnant in the run game against Missouri. I think Cheney's got to be more committed to running the football. So they're a close second to stock stagnant for me. He is Brent Hubs. I'm Austin Price, and this has been the VolQuest Stock Report.